Uh, we're going to create completely boring rooftops. Okay, Control U, uh, take this one, use the thicken tool and copy that. Copy and undo. And um, the second layer, paste in, press F1. And uh, I think we're just going to rename that to A. And uh, well, I guess we could change that color. No, it's okay. I think this color is okay, actually. Um, what I don't see here is that, well, we need to twist this guy here. And uh, action center selection, twist that a bit. Uh, you want this one to go, this point here to go a bit under the y axis. So, sort of like that. And this one to go a bit over. That's better than leaving it a bit uh, uh, lower here and a bit over here. Because then you're going to get gaps. Anyway, so now we've got that right. And uh, we can now use multiply, play, smash, and we'll use. Properly. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know, there's some kind of bug here with Poplate, really. Because sometimes it will go like this, and sometimes it will actually cross section these tiles. So, anyway, it's not that dangerous. Uh, in both cases, what you'll do is actually to uh, take the default surface here. Move that up so you can see the default surface. And cut that or delete it. And uh, as far as these guys, we can just uh, select the connected polygons in those. Move those a bit over here. And uh, Shift G and all points and move that over here. Um, you want to, you could also um, move this to to uh, to be scaled on the plus set. Let's see if I can do that. So we, I re that's also one of the reasons why I want this to be real time. Anyway, so on the set on the plus, hopefully this is right. Okay, yeah, okay. Then invert, do the same thing on the set, come on, and on the minus, okay. So you might want to go like that. That will create a gap here. Come on. Gosh. That will create a gap here. As you can see, instead of this overlap. Uh, that's up to you though what you want. But uh, this is one way to create tiles really. Um, one thing to notice here is that you can see that this guy here is um, actually the tile here is going like that downwards and then if you had water here, it would tile, it would, you know, pile up right here. So the water would pile up here, and it would go over here again, pile up in this location, and go down again. So this is very inefficient. So I think what we're going to do here is we're actually going to uh, take these guys, or this side of it, and take all the, the connected ones and delete them. And uh, use a mirror tool. I'll do so on this side. We'll actually select all of them. And we'll use the all points with the snap drag tool and snap it right here. So now it's correct. 
see now that uh, the water now would be flowing in the right direction, like down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, and so on. And uh, we'll do that on the other side as well. Uh, of course, when you create this, um, when you created this tile, you could do much more advanced stuff to it. I mean, you could, uh, could of course split that several times and uh, and go like go like this. It's really up to you, really, how you want to make that tile. So this could look much more uh, advanced, much better if you made the tile, uh, made a nice tile, to put it that way. Um, so here, just using the rounder tool with edges. And uh, go like that. See what we could have got gotten here. Mm. I don't know why you would have a tie like that, but uh, anyway, I think you get the idea. So. Instead of this, could actually have gotten something like this instead. Now I can see that now the cross, and, and actually I'm not quite sure why that is. I'm not quite sure why that happens, but um, well, it does. So. So let's just take these guys here and uh, select the connected polygons and uh, delete them. Again, I'm not really sure why this happens. Invert this selection and this point right here. You can see what's happening here, right? This is our original, this gray, and this is our new one, the purple. I'll move that point right down here. You can cut that, delete this, paste back in. Again, use uh, I don't know why this won't work. This is very strange. Anyway, take these guys and just snap those points really to to this location right here. Um. Now we got some kind of well pattern here. You can see that the water would flow correctly down here, down here, and down here. So that's how you make that roof. And yeah, like that. Okay, so I learned something new today too. Uh, as for this gap, uh, what's usually done here, I'm not going to show that right here, but what's usually done is uh, that, uh, um, let's see, um, let's go like that. So 
sorry. Like this. And uh, what we're going to do here is, well, of course, this is going to get dent. Why is this not on? Something like that, I guess. No, no I can. Like this. I'm not really sure how to use the bend tool here on. This is actually when you use a bend tool. This is kind of stupid in my way, but you have to use a fixed amount of, I don't know, something like this. And uh, I mean, oh, okay, let's go like that. That setting should really have been right here under the bend tool. But I'm I've talked about that before. Anyway, uh, let's rotate this, hold down control, and uh, actually I'm going to just press F1 here, move that up. This is too slow, I guess. And anyway, Shift H, or the scale tool, and move that like that. Hold this one down, and here you can see that, well, I think you can see what I'm where I'm going with this. Um, I'm just going to make something that can actually uh, be replicated here. So I'm going to move this one all the way down here. Let's take this guy and snap that to this location. Come on. I don't know, my ah my computer is freezing. I don't know why this happens. Might be because of my video recorder. I mean I'm very sure that it's not live wave, so don't worry about this part. Are you kidding me? This is worse than ever. We're just going to pause this video until this ends. Okay, my computer seems to go bananas here, but I think you can see what's going on. That I'm just going to create this shape, and I'm going to thicken this uh, this guy here, and uh, of course stretch that to beyond the to be the length of this edge. And that edge, then replicate it or duplicate, um, and use thicken. So that's how it's done in the real world, and that's how I would have done it if it wasn't for my computer jamming. Um, but you can see where I'm going with this, and uh, I think this is how I would do it in my way. And uh, There's also, of course, Lightwave uh, CAD that would do this much, much faster. But uh, if you don't have that, then this is the way to go about it. Oh yeah, just gonna quit this recording now because my my computer is totally jamming, and I don't think it's Lightwave's fault. It's probably that's an problems with the computer later on, so, so I think it's something else. Anyway, that's it for uh, roof tiles in Lightwave.